This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to AWS training program and today's topic is cloud formation. So cloud formation is like a AWS service which help us to create and manage AWS resources. Till now in our previous classes, how did we create the AWS services like manually? We open the AWS console and suppose we want to create EC2 instance or we want to create a Lambda function or we want to create a load balancer, any service we want to create, right? Any resource we want service. And then you will find an option the to watch is not create available that. sometimes. Okay, give me a moment. Let me check. Okay, am I audible now? Yes, Neeraj. Okay. So I was talking about like what cloud formation is. So cloud formation will help us to create and manage the resources in more uh, programmatic way. And how we do, how exactly it works and how it is helpful, we will be exploring in uh, upcoming slides. So the agenda for today's class is overview of cloud formation. Create a cloud formation template. Create a stack, stack events, stack resources, stack output, update a stack and delete a stack. So if I have to create like one EC2 instance or suppose a one Lambda function, I can do it manually. But suppose I have to create hundreds of Lambda functions, 200s of SNS topics. If I will start doing that manually, that is time consuming that is like uh, error prone as well i may miss something right and moreover i may have to do the similar stuff on multiple accounts because i will create all those resources in dev the night to i need to create the similar resources in stage and then i have to do it in production so doing the resource management manually is very time consuming and very error prone cloud formation will help us to achieve that in a more efficient and more secure way okay so cloud formation gives you an easy way to manage infrastructure as a code it describes your desired resources and their dependencies so you can launch them together we will create a text file in a json format or maybe in a yaml format and there we will define like how many ec2 instance you want and how many dependent resources may be there suppose you want to create an alarm for ec2 instance whenever the CPU utilization is going below 5%, you want to stop it. Something like that, right? So you want to create EC2 instance. For creating the EC2 instance, you may need a security group. You may need one IAM role. You may want a alarm. So all these resources you can create together and you can define them in a, a template file. So you can use a template to create, update and delete an entire stack as a single unit instead of managing resources individually in a single stack stack is nothing but a template right in a single stack you can define a lot of resources and you can update them together you can create them together you can even delete them together suppose your project is over and you want to delete all the resources and their corresponding are uh, dependent resources you can do that quickly you don't have to go to individual service manually and then uh, creating them or sorry deleting them manually that's not required okay you can integrate cloud formation with other services like code build and code pipeline what code build is and what code pipeline is that we will be exploring in upcoming uh, classes maybe this week only but as of now as for today we'll be talking about cloud formation okay this is a sample template i will provide you the actual template on the google drive so that you can download that and you can work on that okay let's have a look at this one so this is my entire stack where there is a AWS template format version. You can, uh, this is like a hard coded line. You can say you usually don't need to change it. So you can provide this uh, format version after that description, which is optional, but to make it more meaningful because tomorrow someone else from your team may look at your template. They should know like what's the purpose of this template. So you can provide a meaningful description. I have provided like AWS cloud formation sample template. To create S3 bucket, EC2 instance, security group, and IAM role. This template will create these resources. 
and after that we have to uh, you can say define those resources separately there's a parameter section as well parameter section is used when you want to parameterize few thing for example you want to create ec2 instance but there is a type small type micro mini and there are other big type of instance as well right which type of instance you want to use that you don't want to hard code because depending upon your team's requirement they may some some team member want to create a smaller instance another team member may be interested to create a bigger instance so you don't want to hard code you you are giving them the flexibility so that they can change they can choose so we we can define some parameter i will show this live in some time just have a like high level look at this point so there are two parameters instance type description is ec2 instance type the type is string allowed values t2 dot micro t2 dot nano and t2 dot small and default is t2 dot micro that means if the end user they are not bothering to choose by default t2 dot micro will be auto selected if they want to change it they will get a drop down i will show the drop down as well they can change from the drop down then there is a ami id when you are launching ec2 instance you remember we have to provide an ami you want to launch windows type of operating system or linux or mac os or amazon provided ami or your created ami right so you can provide an ami and accordingly your ec2 instance will be launched these two are parameters only instance type and ami id now let's talk about resources the first resources i am creating i am giving some name my s3 bucket this is not your bucket name don't get confused with uh, the bucket name this is your resource name from this template point of view this is used only in this template the type is aws colon double colon s3 double colon bucket that means this resource is about creating s3 bucket there is a deletion policy also retain what is that deletion policy means that if we are deleting the stack shall it delete the resources behind the scene by default yes as we discussed in the previous slide that you can create update and delete all the resources with the help of single stack so the default behavior is that if you are deleting the stack means underlying resource will be automatically deleted but in some special scenario you want to protect your bucket because your bucket may have some important data so what you are saying is deletion policy retain that means by mistake or deliberately if someone is deleting the template it should retain the bucket it should not delete the bucket bucket name my test bucket cfn and there are some tags also and they will be attached to your s3 bucket so i am providing key as team name and value as team one okay this is template on very high level in case you are having any doubt on this slide you can ask me in the meantime i will open my aws account and then we'll do the things practically let me log in One seven nine seven eight. Okay, so we'll open cloud formation service. Okay. Cloud formation, and you can read this tagline: create and manage resources with templates.